Yumi was a young woman living in Tokyo who loved to experience new things. She had heard about the traditional Japanese tea ceremony and was eager to try it for herself. One day, she received an invitation to attend a tea ceremony at an old and abandoned tea house deep in the mountains. The invitation was written on delicate paper, with intricate calligraphy and a seal in red wax. Yumi was excited about the opportunity, but also felt a sense of unease as she looked at the invitation. The tea house was said to be haunted, and there were rumors of strange things happening there. Despite her reservations, Yumi decided to attend the tea ceremony, eager to experience the unique tradition and overcome her fears. She gathered a group of friends who were also interested in trying the tea ceremony, and they made their way to the tea house. The journey was long and winding, and the group felt a sense of foreboding as they approached the old building. The tea house was nestled in the heart of the forest, surrounded by dense trees and the sounds of strange creatures. As they entered the tea house, they were greeted by the smell of incense and the soft glow of candlelight. The tea master appeared, bowing deeply to welcome them. He was a wise and ancient-looking man, with a long white beard and a kind smile. He led them to a large room with tatami mat flooring, where the tea ceremony would take place. But as they sat down, a strange feeling washed over Yumi. The room became very cold, and she felt as if she was being watched. She turned around, but no one was there. Suddenly, the door slammed shut, trapping them inside the room. The candlelight flickered, and a ghostly voice echoed through the room, saying, Welcome to the terror in the tea house. Yumi and her friends were filled with fear as they realized that the rumors about the haunted tea house were true. They were trapped, and the terror was just beginning. Yumi and her friends found themselves trapped in the room, surrounded by the eerie silence of the tea house. They tried the door, but it was locked from the outside. The room was lit only by the flickering candlelight, casting shadows on the walls and adding to their fear. Suddenly, they heard strange noises coming from outside the room. It was the sound of shuffling feet and whispers in a language they couldn't understand. The friends looked at each other, their faces pale with fear. They were sure that something was coming for them. Just then, the door creaked open and the tea master appeared, holding a tray with cups of tea. He offered the tea to the friends, who were hesitant to drink it. But they were thirsty, so they took a sip. The tea was bitter and had a strange aftertaste, but they didn't know what it was. As they drank the tea, they noticed that the room was becoming colder and colder. The tea master's eyes became black and empty, and his movements became slow and unnatural. He suddenly turned to them, and in a deep and menacing voice, he said, Welcome to the terror in the tea house. You will never leave. The friends were frozen with fear as the tea master disappeared. They realized that they were in grave danger, and that they had to find a way to escape the tea house before it was too late. Yumi and her friends were trapped in the tea house, and they knew they had to find a way to escape. As they tried to find a way out, they heard the sound of footsteps approaching. The door opened, and the tea master reappeared, holding a tea set. He gestured for them to follow him to another room where the tea ceremony would take place. The friends were hesitant, but they felt as though they had no other choice. They followed the tea master to the room, which was filled with the sweet smell of incense and the soft glow of candlelight. The tea master offered them each a cup of tea, which they reluctantly took. As they drank the tea, strange things began to happen. The room became colder and colder, and the tea master's movements became more and more erratic. The friends felt as though they were in a dream, and that they couldn't escape the terror of the tea house. 
Suddenly, the tea master stood up and announced that the tea ceremony was over. But as they tried to leave the room, they found that the door was locked and they couldn't escape. The tea master turned to them, his eyes black and empty, and said, Welcome to the terror in the tea house. You will never leave. The friends were filled with fear as they realized that they were trapped in the tea house forever. They had no way of escaping, and the terror of the tea house was just beginning. Yumi and her friends were trapped in the tea house, and they knew that they had to find a way out. They searched the room for a way to escape, but the door was locked from the outside. Suddenly, they heard strange noises coming from outside the room. It was the sound of shuffling feet and whispers in a language they couldn't understand. The friends looked at each other, their faces pale with fear. They were sure that something was coming for them. Suddenly, the door creaked open, and they saw a ghostly figure standing in the doorway. It was the ghost of a woman, her hair disheveled and her eyes wide with terror. She was staring directly at them, and the friends felt a chill run down their spines. The ghost slowly approached them, her movements slow and deliberate. The friends tried to run, but they were rooted to the spot with fear. The ghost reached out to touch them, and they felt a cold, icy hand on their skin. They screamed in terror, and the ghost disappeared, leaving them alone in the room once again. But the terror wasn't over yet. The friends heard more whispers and shuffling feet coming from outside the room. They knew that they were in grave danger, and that they had to find a way to escape before it was too late. Yumi and her friends knew that they had to escape the tea house as soon as possible. They searched the room for a way out, but they couldn't find anything. Suddenly, they heard a sound that they recognized, it was the sound of the front door being opened. They rushed to the door, and they saw that it was the tea master who had opened it. He was smiling at them, but his eyes were cold and empty. He beckoned for them to follow him, and they cautiously followed him through the tea house. As they walked, they heard whispers and shuffling feet coming from the shadows. They knew that the ghosts of the tea house were still following them, and that they were still in danger. The tea master led them to a secret door, which he said would lead them to safety. The friends were filled with hope as they followed the tea master through the door, but their hope quickly turned to terror. The door led them to a dark, underground passage, and the tea master disappeared. They were alone in the dark, with the sounds of shuffling feet and whispers echoing around them. Suddenly, they saw a faint light in the distance. They ran towards it, and they found themselves back in the tea house. They quickly ran out the front door and into the safety of the night. They were free from the terror of the tea house, but they knew that they would never forget the horrors that they had faced. Yumi and her friends finally made it back home, but they couldn't shake the feeling that they were still being watched. They tried to tell people what had happened at the tea house, but no one believed them. Days turned into weeks, and the friends began to think that they had just imagined the terror that they had faced. But then strange things started to happen. They would see ghostly figures in the corners of their eyes, and they would hear whispers and shuffling feet when no one was around. Yumi and her friends soon realized that the terror of the tea house had followed them home. They knew that they had to find a way to stop it, but they didn't know how. The friends continued to search for answers, but they never found them. The terror of the tea house remains a mystery to this day, and many believe that the ghosts of the tea house are still lurking in the shadows, waiting to claim their next victims.